Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Network Engineer Stuff. So guys, in this video, we'll focus on configuration of inter-VLAN routing using a layer 3 switch in Cisco Packet Tracer. This is our topology and uh, this is a real-world scalable enterprise network design. So in this topology, we have this four PCs, PC0, PC1, PC2, PC3. And we have these two switches, uh, I will say layer two switches, which act as an access layer switches. And we have this particular device, which is the hero of our uh, video, I can say, the layer three device or uh, uh, the multi layer switch, which is Cisco 3560, which will perform inter VLAN routing. Inter VLAN routing, that is, it will it will route the traffic between VLAN 10 and 20, uh, which we'll be configuring on this setup. So basically, uh, we are using here the layer 3 switch. Uh, we are eliminating the need of the traditional uh, router on stick setup where we where we use a router instead of this layer 3 switch. So if you wanted to watch that particular video, router on stick, I do have that video on my YouTube channel. You can go and check. I'll paste the link in the description section. You can also check the I button. Now, these four PCs we have, okay, so this PC0 and PC2 uh, will keep it in VLAN 10 and uh, this PC1 and PC3, we will configure it in VLAN 20. So, let's start the configuration with this access switch 1. So, what we need to do on access switch 1 is, we do have uh, this, this like three interfaces, fast return 0 slash 1 getting connected to this uh, layer 3. Uh, switch so this is the uplink uh, or the trunk port and this fast return 0 slash 2 and fast return 0 slash 3 will be configured in VLAN 10 and 20 respectively and this will be the access port so what I'll do is I'll log into this switch so this is my switch enable so first thing what I'll do is I'll first create the VLANs. I'll go in the global configuration mode. And I'll configure the VLAN, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. So you can see, I think we have to give the host name also because there is no host name. So what I'll also do is, let me do that host name, access switch, uh, let's say one. Let us check the VLANs show VLAN. Okay. So VLAN 10 and 20 are configured. Okay. So we have uh, the interface fast return 0 slash 1 getting connected to the layer 3 switch, which is the trunk port or the uplink. So we'll do no shut. And what we'll do now, this will be the trunk port. So it will be the command of the switch port mode trunk okay and uh, here again we have the another interface fast return is 0 slash 2 this will be the access port to switch mode switch port mode trunk uh, mode uh, here it will be uh, not the trunk it will be access and switch port access VLAN 10 do no shut we have interface fast return 0 slash 3 no shut switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 20 so this will be member of VLAN 20 ok so we have configured access switch 1 now similarly we will configure our uh, access switch 2 also where we have this uplink as fast return 0 slash 1, fast return 0 slash 2 will be a uh, member of VLAN 10 and fast return 0 slash 3 will be member of VLAN 20. So we'll configure this particular switch that is access switch 2. Go on to global configuration mode. First of all, I give the host name uh, access switch 2. 
we'll configure the VLANs first of all. So VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Then we'll go in this particular trunk port, fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. We'll do no shut. This will be the trunk port, switch port mode, trunk. Then we'll go in fast Ethernet 0 slash 2. This will be access port, mode access, and this will be member of VLAN. 10. Then we'll we have fast Ethernet 0 slash 3. Uh, again, uh, no shut. Switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 20. So we have configured these two access switches. Now we will configure this layer 3 switch. Now, guys. Before configuring this layer 3 switch, we should understand that what we need to configure on this first of all. See, there are a few things which we need to configure and uh, we'll just start our configuration by give a good host name to this config t host name layer 3 switch. Okay, so we have to configure a few things as I told. Um, the very first thing will be uh, will be the uh, IP routing feature on this particular switch because this particular switch uh, is uh, is is now have to do uh, layer three functionality. The layer three functionality need to be enabled because you have to do the inter VLAN routing. So whenever we say routing, it's a layer three feature which we need to enable on this particular switch because you have to do inter VLAN routing it have to route the traffic between VLANs so the command before that I'll show you one thing okay on this layer 3 switch if you see show IP route you can see here the there is there is no such uh, routing enabled here now let's see I give this command config t IP I just enabled IP routing. Okay. I enabled routing on this particular L3 switch. Now you see. If you see such outputs, IP routing is enabled. Okay. Now the second step, what I'll do is I'll configure L2 VLANs. So we have two L2 VLANs. So I'll configure it like VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. So we have configured the L2 VLANs also. Now we have to configure the L3 VLANs, which are the SVIs. If you see over here, I have mentioned this VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. So this will be the SVIs which will be configured on this layer 3 switch and which will be the gateways of the respective VLANs which will be configured on this PC. So we'll do so. So what we'll do is we'll configure, so we have configured L2 VLANs, now we are configuring L3 VLANs. So to configure interface VLAN 10. So once you configure interface VLAN 10, that is layer 3 VLAN. And you have to give the IP address, IP address 10.1.1.1 slash 24 is, so it is 255.254.0. Again, we will configure another L3 VLAN that is interface VLAN 20, IP address 20.1.1.1.255.255.255.0 that is slash 24. So we can see here show IP route. Now you can see here guys, this two uh, SVI is over here. Okay. You can see a 10.0.0.0 slash 24 network. Like this is the network 10.1.1.0, which is directly connected. That is VLAN 10. So we have created the SVS. Now the last thing what we need to do is we need to configure the PCs. So we'll go in the PCs, we'll go in the desktop IP config. Now the IP address for this PC should be 10.1.1.1. 100. The subnet marks will be 255.255.255.0. 
and the gateway. Now here the gateway is very important. For this VLAN 10, the gateway will be the SVI which we have configured on L3 switch. So it will be 10.1.1.1. Okay. Now if you go here and check in command prompt, IP config. Okay, we have configured the IP. Now similarly, I configured for VLAN 20 also. I'll go here in IP config. Now here the IP address will be for this particular uh, PC is 20.1.1.100, I think so. Let me check. Yes. So it is 20.1.1.100. Now here the subnet marks is again going to be slash 24. Here the default gateway will be 20.1.1.1. Okay. On the command prompt, IP config. Okay, so it is configured. Similarly, I'll configure this both of this quickly. So this is 10.1.1.101 subnet marks slash 24 10.1.1.1 desktop IP config 20.1.1.101 subnet marks slash 24 subnet marks slash 24 the default gateway will be 20.1.1.1 okay now we will check from this PC You see, we have the IP addresses 10.10.100. .10 .10 so, if you ping 10.1.1.101, as you can see, we are able to ping the from PC uh, PC zero. We are able to ping PC two. Now, if you go here, if you check, you are also able to ping the 20 network, which is 20.1.1.101, .1 we are also able to ping that. If you check this particular uh, IP 20.1.1.100 okay we are also able to ping that so guys uh, what we have achieved is from PC0 we are able to ping PC1 and PC3 again also of course we are able to ping PC2 so all the PCs are reachable to each other so in this way we have achieved inter VLAN routing using layer 3 switch uh, that's it in this video if you have any queries you can um, you can drop in the comment if you have any good suggestions and if you find my videos very useful guys you can drop a comment and i'll reply to each and every comment so guys i'll stop here catch up in the next video till then keep learning keep configuring thank you